whilst not a machine, these amazing electricity pylons uh, do power, of course, a lot of machines. So I thought it'd be worth uh, having a nose around this one. This classic pylon shape uh, was a winning uh, bid, I think, in 1927. Uh, the Millikan brothers in America came up with the design, or Sir Reginald Bloomfield gets the credit for it a lot of the time, but it was actually an American design. And it was to try and be delicate, and it, it is incredibly delicate, really. When you get up close, and we'll see it in a minute, there's hardly any material on those uh, uh, struts. I mean, they're only about four or five mil thick. It's an absolute mo modern engineering marvel. Uh, most of these things are about 36 meters or above. There's some absolutely enormous ones going over the River Severn if you go on the Old Severn Bridge that's worth a look. And they've been with us in some form or another for nearly 100 years. Uh, you know, we've got nearly 90,000 of them in the UK. See what I mean about the thickness? There's absolutely nothing there, is there? That's absolutely brilliant. Originates from the word pylon, which is Greek, which is an entrance. Uh, and in 1922, when they discovered the to King of Tutankhamun, apparently, uh, yeah, the word pylon was used because there were some enormous structures, monolith type structures, on the side of the tomb, uh, which were, were known as pylons, and it became sort of common language, of course, in the early 20s when these were starting to be developed. So, very interesting, actually. Very interesting bit of engineering.